What's up guys, Eric Cattell back for another season of GLTC, it's 2023. We're here at Coda for round one and we arrived with a ton of changes to the hybrid racing Super Touring Civic. It's a new name for the car this year because we are basically inspiring it this season based off the, the 97 Accord JTCC cars. So that basically means more aero, more wheel, more width, some fender flares, and uh, just overall vibe of what the Accords kind of did. A lot of changes on the car. The first thing that we ended up doing was actually went up to 18s and uh, five lugs. So we got 18 by 10 and a half in the front and 18 by eight and a half in the rear. We got some sweet aero disc in the back, uh, mainly just for style points, but um, yeah, we're running 225 in the back, Kumo V70, V730s, and up front we got 255s. Um, and in order to kind of fit that much tire in the front of this car, we actually had to do some fender flares. And then we did a bunch of other changes, um, worked closely with hybrid racing and designing some control arms for the bottom of this car, for the front lower control arms with uh, integrated ball joints to kind of delete the OEM style so it's a solid stud. Um, with the spherical, we could kind of mess with roll centers, instant centers. And uh, yeah, so a lot of development work in that. And then in the back, we did some adjustments as well to roll centers and geo. Race spread stepped up. We got one of their uh, GT wings, which has been phenomenal. We made some custom mounts for it. Um, it's under 500 square inches. On the front side, we got the three inch splitter. So once again, that's my you know homebrew recipe, half inch birch plywood, some fiberglass, simple air dam. And then another big thing we kind of did on the front is uh, I kind of wanted to do a whole ducting setup through the bumper, out the hood. So we used the Coil Rad pocket radiator. I put a pretty big lean on it and we got it fully ducted from the front bumper through the radiator, out the hood. And I think it's uh, been extremely efficient. We actually have to tape up the radiator quite a bit just to maintain temperature. And that's still with the stock thermostat. Uh, we did some other cool aspects here. We did um, some Lexan covers just to kind of clean up the airflow on the front end. We relocated the oil cooler down below the, uh, the core support and we kind of have that feeding through the lip. So yeah, everything aero-wise has been really good. And once again, it's kind of inspired by the 97 Accords that ran in Japan. Um, the wing is heavily you know, modeled after that. And, and the fender flares too, we, uh, we went with uh, Gendosa fender flares just to fit the massive wheel and tire underneath there. And I think overall it turned out really good. So yeah, round one, this is Coda. Um, really good track i like this track a lot it's got a lot of flowy sections but um it's got a lot of straightaways too so you got a few sessions down honestly the car has felt really good we barely made any setup changes um yeah it's off the trailer it's been it's been fast but we have been struggling uh, against the vets just the vets just have way more power so we qualified fifth i felt pretty confident we got down to like a 31.1 in quality which honestly i'm extremely pleased with to qualify top five in such a competitive field um, ever since we went street tires, I felt like the competition has just leveled it up. And I kind of had an off season last year with the whole build. So a little behind, but I feel like I'm finally catching up. Um, yeah, car is, car is up there. Top five pace is really good. We went into the race, started fifth. We lost two spots off the start. And uh, yeah, just slowly clawed our way back. And I think the, uh, the setup on the car has been great because it's just um, doesn't really fall off much. So near the end of the race, we had some good battles. We made it up to fourth. We were close to snagging fourth, but we got motored on the back straight um, by Luke McGrew um, and eventually finished fifth. So started fifth, finished fifth. I mean, I can't complain about that. The car is doing great. It's reliable, no real issues. But the good news is we actually got the third fastest lap time of the day, which means tomorrow morning, which is a standing start, we're starting in third. So really happy about that, that the car can run that kind of pace um, during a race. That's awesome. And hopefully, um, the one advantage this car does have on the field is that it's lighter and hopefully less uh, dag on the tires. So we'll see you for the next two races just tomorrow and uh, hopefully maybe get a podium. We'll see. So, another crazy weekend at Coda. We finished P2 overall. Every time we come here, we have some attrition, but we always pull through and finish. 
pretty strong. Um, race three was absolutely wild. We actually had some contact. I was uh, keeping up with the vets in first and second, up in third, and uh, the blue vet in front of me just blew a diff. Basically, slammed on his brakes a few feet in front of me. I had nowhere to go, slammed into his rear end. Unfortunately, my car went underneath his crash bar, so the headlights and the upper core support took all the impact, which um, kind of a bummer to redo the whole front end of the car and make it really nice and then basically destroy it all. But um, yeah, the hybrid boys, we pulled through. We basically pulled it all out with the F-150 and then we actually used the ASM's uh, stacker to kind of pull the whole core support upwards. So we got it all fixed up for race four, which was a crazy invert. We had a, an 11 car invert. We started ninth. We made our way all the way up to, I think, top three almost. And then there was a caution, um, fell back a little bit, but had a great battle with Tom. And there was a red BMW, his name's escaping me right now, but we had an epic battle. Finished fifth in race four. So consistency and solid results kind of basically gave us second place. We finished fifth in race one. We got a third, a third, and another fifth. So yeah, um, all the other cars ahead of us, they had attrition. They fell back, had a DNF, lost some points. But yeah, the hybrid reliability has been strong. Basically every event we've been to the past two seasons. The car has been rock solid. The setup was phenomenal. We didn't even change a thing on the setup. It was just good off the trailer. Um, everything, all the changes we made this off season were basically spot on and perfect. This was not a track for us. We're a light horsepower, light car. We did not have the straight line performance. We did have the handling, but at this track, you can't really make that up in uh, many sections. Our best section was probably the S's, and then after that, we were just getting gapped on the straightaways. But to finish second at an event like this at Coda, that, uh, that's gonna be really solid for the rest of our season. I'm feeling really confident in the car. I think it's gonna be a good year. We got a lot of events coming up. I think our next one's gonna be Watkins Glen. I believe that's in May. So I'm pumped for that one. That's uh, one of my favorite tracks in the US. So hopefully we put a good showing there and uh, maybe get some more wins. It's been a little bit, but the car is as good as it's ever been. Um, I think all the development work has been phenomenal. So thanks to all the sponsors, everybody who helped out. Uh, we got a lot of new sponsors on board this season. We got Race Bread, we got Padded Old Boys, um, so many people, Hawk, Performance. Um, and then yeah, there's probably a few more that I'm missing, but honestly, it's been a long weekend. A lot of sun, I'm pretty exhausted. So anyway, catch you guys at Watkins Glen and uh, hopefully get some good finishes there.